okay so from now onwards we have to follow them uh, if any scientific uh, things are there in news you have to follow it okay right now uh, now we are learning about rocket propulsion that means uh, if you see the rocket what happens is in the rocket actually four different stages will be there and in that rocket fuel will be used fuel may be in a gas form fuel may be in a liquid form fuel may be sometimes in a solid form also so according to the up to which orbit we have to place that satellite by using that rocket based on that they will decide which fuel to be used and a few fuels will be there which will give a lot of thrust to that particular rocket so like that they use a design according to in which that we in which orbit the satellite is must be placed okay and in a rocket generally four uh, different stages will be there okay let me draw it uh, actually i am not good at drawing already you know Maybe even then i will draw try to draw that uh, rocket so here uh, let us say this is the sharp end of the rocket and after that uh, to this rocket what will be there is four different stages will be there this is stage 1 this is stage 2 this is stage 3 and this is stage 4 so four stages will be there and uh, first uh, after four stages what will be there is for this rocket to the down side one nozzle will be there like this a small opening will be there and uh, maybe you seen that uh, some gases will escape from this nozzle and when gases are coming out in this direction rocket will move up in this direction and uh, how many stages are there for this rocket this is first stage this is second stage this is third stage this is fourth stage four stages will be there and in this first stage fuel will be there here also fuel will be there here also fuel will be there here also fuel will be there so in all these four stages uh, fuel will be there and suppose Uh, by some means what we did is we make the fuel to be burnt in a stage 1 whatever fuel is there in the uh, stage 1 that is made to burn by using some uh, methods some spark technique will be there and spark will be created here when spark is created whatever the fuel is there that will catch the fire and after getting fire what happens is gases will escape from this nozzle with a very high velocity and in turn what happens is when uh, gases are escaping out definitely what happens some uh, force will be used to make it down and same force will be applied on the rocket and thereby the rocket will move up actually that means for every action there will be an equal and opposite reaction so here while escaping the gases definitely some force will act in a downward direction and in turn this particular gas will apply some force on the rocket thereby the rocket will move up so here uh, you have to understand like this related to the newton's third law of motion but when you see here uh, first stage is there generally suppose uh, uh, we started burning about this uh, first stage fuel and total fuel of this particular stage was burnt then what happens this first stage will be detached from this particular rocket so first stage will not be there after some time and when first stage is not there what stages will be there now second stage third stage and fourth stage and when uh, first stage is detaching the spark will be given to second stage that means whatever fuel is there in the second stage that fuel will start burning now observe carefully when first stage fuel is burnt now the mass of the rocket will be same or mass of the rocket will be different sahas understand the concept clearly and try to say me the answer now whatever fuel is there in the stage 1 total 
totally was burnt and after that that stage one is detached now stage two fuel is burnt and uh, it is giving some gases outside and uh, gases are coming out rocket is moving up now the mass of the rocket will be same to that of earlier one or not that is my question just a question uh, understand now the mass will be same or mass will be changing tahas tahas yes sir tell me definitely me. sir definitely what happens mass changes or mass will remain constant mass of the rocket will change or mass of the rocket will be constant sir it will change very good mass of the rocket will change why change first stage was detached from it when first stage is there earlier mass will be more when first stage is detached what happens mass of the rocket will decrease now let us say second stage whatever is there this second stage is also burnt and now second stage is also detached from the rocket then what happens again the mass of the rocket will decrease further and the third stage will burn so like that continuously what will happen whether the mass of the rocket goes on decreasing or not mass of the rocket will goes on decreasing or not or no first stage burnt second stage burnt third stage burnt so like that if you go on increase sorry going on burning the stages the mass of the yes, rocket sir. will decrease yes sir it will decrease very good so it will decrease that's why now actually this particular whatever uh, uh, rocket is there rocket will be treated as variable mass system it is considered as which system variable, variable mass. mass system that means in this system the mass will go on changing so variable mass system and by considering it as variable mass system if we calculate the final velocity of the rocket that final velocity of the rocket turns out to be this equation v is equal to u naught plus v r into log of base e m naught by m what is u naught here u naught is a initial velocity of the rocket and what is v r v r is a velocity of the exhaust gases relative to the rocket that means maybe you know that rocket is moving up this particular gases are coming out and when gases are coming out let us say the velocity of the escape gases is vr vr means relative velocity you have to take relative velocity means velocity difference between this particular uh, upward velocity and exhaust gases velocity difference of these two you have to take but in order to understand you have to say like this escape gases are coming with a velocity vr so uh, that velocity you have to take and m naught is a initial mass of the rocket m is a mass of the rocket at which you are finding the velocity of it now let us say like this now we burnt sorry we started burning about this first stage at t is equal to 0 and after 10 seconds i want to find out how much velocity will be there for a rocket then we have to use this equation okay and how we can derive this equation by considering it as v system variable mass system very lengthy derivation will be there to get this equation and in that you have to use integration and all those things but briefly i am saying by considering the motion of a rocket as a variable mass system we can derive this equation v is equal to u naught plus v r log of base e m naught by m but while you are writing about newton's laws of motion always we think that the mass of a object will remain constant but whereas in case of rockets definitely what happens is the mass goes on changing as 
first stage detach second stage detach like this so that's why only we have to take this system as variable mass system and we have to apply newton second law then and after that you will get this equation is it clear what is v here what is v there in what so variable mass variable velocity no v means what whether it is a mass or velocity it's a velocity very good v means velocity velocity at what time so when the gas is exhaust right when the gases are exhausting but at what time you have to take velocity v whenever you are examining at what time you are examining at that time velocity will be v just now only i said suppose when uh, this uh, gases have started burning at that time we'll take t is equal to zero and suppose at 10 seconds of time i want to find out the velocity at that time we have to write uh, all the values into this equation then you have to find out the velocity and similarly suppose i want to find out the velocity of the rocket after 20 seconds then again what you have to do initial mass you have to take uh, mass at that particular time also you have to take mass at that particular time how you can find mass at that particular time by taking uh, with what ratio the escape gases are coming out suppose let us say escape gases are coming out in such a way that the fuel is burnt with a rate of 3 kilograms per second that means in every second how many kilograms of fuel will be burnt 3 kilograms will be burnt and after that suppose if i ask you how much mass will decrease after 10 seconds how much will decrease 30 kg will decrease 3 into 10 seconds so whatever uh, uh, total mass is there in that total mass how much uh, exhausted 30 kg is exhausted and that uh, after ex sorry after removing that 30 kg from total value you have to take that value as m m means mass of the rocket at whatever the time which we are taking it is not the total mass but whatever the remaining mass is there for the rocket that mass you have to take here so by considering the rocket as variable mass system we can derive this relation but uh, as it is the application of a newton third law of motion we are learning about this equation but when you learn about variable mass system completely then you can understand this equation how to derive but in in basical terms you have to understand like this so again individual terms tell me arnav what is v what is u naught what is vr what is m naught what is m one by one you tell me sir i think sahas can also tell huh Sir, I think Sahas can also tell. When I ask you, you have to give answer, but you are throwing on him. I will ask him also. Sir, will V is velocity at any time? Right. Sir, you then V R is velocity of exhaust, uh, which is relative to the rocket. Okay. What is U not? Sir, uh, U naught is uh, the initial uh, initial velocity. Initial velocity of? Yes, sir. Initial velocity of what? The initial velocity of rocket. Very good. Okay. What is M naught? Sir, the initial mass of the rocket. Very good. What is M? Mass of the rocket at various stages right that means you have to say like this mass of the rocket at a time t okay mass sir. of the rocket at a time t it may be 10 seconds it may be 20 seconds it may be 30 seconds whatever the time it may be okay okay sir right now again tell me by 
considering what we can derive this equation v is equal to u naught plus v r log of base e m naught by m by considering what by considering rocket as a variable mass system we can derive this relation okay okay arna sahas series is it okay sahas sahas okay and in uh, rocket propulsion only if the rocket is to move up with a constant speed overcoming its weight then thrust on the rocket is equal to dm by dt is into u is equal to mg and these equations also actually you can understand when you are thinking this particular rocket as a variable mass system see if the rocket is to be move up with a constant speed to overcome its weight so weight will act in a downward direction rocket is moving up and when rocket is moving up definitely it has to overcome the weight then only it can move otherwise the rocket will be there down only it can't move up so to overcome that particular weight whatever the thrust to be given to that rocket will be equal to dm by dt into u observe carefully there dm by dt we wrote dm by dt means what the rate of change of mass that means mass is changing maybe you know that to change the momentum either mass must change or velocity must change and here what happens is momentum uh, to change the momentum mass will change and velocity also will change but as the rocket is to be moved up with a constant speed that's why we are writing thrust on the rocket as dm by dt into u moving with a constant speed speed is not changing that's why we are taking u here and uh, when it is moving up continuously the mass will go on decreasing so that's why mass will change so dm by dt we wrote dm by dt into u that is nothing but the rate of change of momentum and rate of change of momentum only will be called force so thrust on the rocket will be equal to force and that force will be equal to mg it has to overcome that mo uh, weight actually so that's why we are writing this equation and uh, if it is moving with a constant acceleration up to overcome its weight and after that it is gaining some uh, acceleration and it is moving in upward direction then uh, what we have to write dm by dt into u is equal to mg plus mga now see here all of you now this is a rocket so what is dm and dt okay i'll tell you now just now i told you variable mass system no variable mass system means what uh, are now so that uh, at every stage that mass will change right mass will change now generally what do you mean by force tell me force force equals to ma when you mean generally what we have to say force ma equation is right ma equation is right or now but how to understand that force sir a push or pull push or pull generally will be called force but what do you mean by force according to newton's second law according to newton's second law what will be force what will be force according to newton's second law sahas tell me sahas can you say about uh, newton's second law okay arun tell me ah uh, tell yes, me sir. Yeah. yes sir ah uh, tell me about newton's second law Uh, so that the uh, rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the external force applied very good the external force generally whatever is acting on an object will be equal to rate of change of momentum of that object so that means uh, now observe carefully f i can write as d by dt of mv maybe while deriving equation also we used this term sir i got it that d means delta rate of change of anything no, very good d means rate of change so generally 
d by dt of mv means either mass must change or velocity must change isn't it and suppose if i treat mass is remaining constant then how i write m common dv by dt so thereby you will get m dv by dt generally will be called acceleration so that's why you got ma equation but here in this particular rocket continuously mass is changing and uh, i am hoping that uh, it is moving with a constant speed in upward direction so that's why i treated this u as a constant then what will change mass will change so that's why i am writing like this f external on the rocket will be equal to generally i have to write like this d by dt of m v actually but i am taking it as u now u must remain constant constant speed is there so that's why i wrote u and then definitely what will change the mass will change so u into dm by dt so that only is written here u into dm by dt so i'll write clearly here f external is equal to generally d by dt of mu must be there either mass must change or speed must change but as u remains constant here i am writing like that and then definitely what must change this mass must change so u into dm by dt and this u m by u into dm by dt now will be external force and this f external if it is equal to weight of this rocket then definitely what happens is this rocket starts moving it will not move actually it starts moving when f external is equal to mg so that's why only we we are saying that if the rocket is to move up with a constant speed in overcoming its weight then definitely dm by dt into u must be equal to zero and whatever the external force i wrote here this external force here is said to be thrust which is acting on the rocket thrust means what the force which is acting in upward direction will be called thrust so f external here will be thrust force actually so thrust will be equal to dm by dt into u if it is equal to weight of the object it starts moving but suppose that weight is overcome that means weight uh, uh, is balanced and apart from the balancing of the weight rocket is moving up then definitely this f external whatever is there you can write like this dm by dt into u is equal to mg plus ma so here mg already is whatever the equation is there here that equation is there and along with that one as it is gaining some acceleration you can write ma here so mg plus ma okay and f f thrust force means only it starts moving but if it is moving up more force is required and that for more force we are writing with a ma here so you have to think like this only to overcome uh, weight it must be equal to mg and if it is moving with uh, some acceleration it must be equal to mg plus ma so this is about the rocket propulsion actually and see here rocket generally moves with very high speeds due to the change in mass of that object and maybe while explaining about newton's laws first only i said uh, whether 100 kg object will move easily or 10 kg object will move easily or no 100 kg object will move easily or 10 kg object will move easily or no 10 kg Why? sir because the mass is less when mass will be less what will be less inertia will be less yes when sir. inertia is less it will move fastly isn't it and uh, tell me whether uh, whatever the rocket which is moving up is taking up of, uh, of some satellites no and those satellites will come back or uh, they will uh, not come back uh, to the earth whether they will come back or they will not come back or no those satellites no, sir. they will not come back no yes 
Yes, sir. And they will not. They will not come back. Means what? They are escaping from the gravitational force of the earth. And to overcome the gravitational force of the earth, we have to give a speed to the rocket, which is equal to generally eleven point two kilometers per second. How much velocity we have to give? Eleven point two kilometers per second. That means in one second it has to travel eleven point two kilometers. That much of speed must be given to rocket to overcome the gravitational force. Actually. So to give that kind of a force, sorry, that kind of a velocity, it is not possible by keeping the mass constant. That's why only what we use, we use a rocket in which all the stages will be burnt. And when first stage is burnt, um, rocket velocity will be three meter per second. If second stage is burnt, rocket uh, velocity reaches up to six meter per second. Uh, after uh, that stage, third stage is burnt. Rocket will gain velocity up to nine meters per second, and when fourth stage is burnt, almost all the rocket speed will be 11.2 kilometer per second, and thereby that satellite will not come back to the Earth. So to give that kind of a speed only, stages will be there, and mass of the rocket goes on decreasing. So this is about the rocket propulsion, and you have to remember all these terms, all these equations. You have to remember to solve few equations in your uh, higher classes. not here but you have to understand the concept here